Hello again, Brigandine fans. This is Double Seventy Seven Trigger here, and I'm bringing you another episode of Scalio attacking Norgard. Now, Scalio has already pretty much taken over the Queen, knocked out Kai, and now the next target is Norgard. Now, some of you may think, oh, why not go for the Prince? You know, he's the easier one to take over. Yes, that is uh, actually a better strategy, but there is another alternative strategy. You can go for Vinar. Now, with this Battle of Cardiff, I kind of wanted to show just a very aggressive um, play style with not a whole lot of thought into it. Now, you can see there's a few things that um, I could have done differently, and uh, there's probably a few mistakes that um, you can see that should have been, um, you know, negated. I should not have done a few of these things, you know, seeing as how he has so many dragons on his team. Now, the clear choice in this uh, tactic is to try to kill as many dragons as I can, because now I'm attacking Cardiff. And after I defeat, after I destroy Cardiff, here, he's going to have two castles left. He's going to have El, Elrime, and Listenos. Those are the only two castles he's going to have left. So as many dragons as I can kill here, the better off I'm going to be for the final battle. Because in that final battle, it's going to be pretty difficult. Anyway, I wanted to show you uh, basically just a very aggressive playstyle here, where you just kind of fill the monsters and whatnot uh, to uh, you know, a few different areas. Uh, there's a little bit of strategy here. Um, I tried to put uh, a few of my, um, well, I tried to get my uh, my uh, Seymour uh, plant up there to work in the forest, and that was just kind of kind of block the. Um, the forest way with the wyvern, but don't really need to do that because, you know, they're dragons, they're not going to get through the forest that easily, uh, but I uh, yeah, just wanted to show you how you can play a very aggressive style, but yes, it can be dangerous because of the fact that they can uh, weaken you pretty, and they can weaken you very well if you're not really watching things very carefully. So. Yeah, here there's not a whole lot of options that I have. Um, I was thinking, well, you know, I'll just start fighting the bishop for a little while, make him heal himself up. Because if he's healing himself up, he's not healing up, um, you know, he's not really healing up the dragons. So I get him to that point, he's definitely going to throw a heal on himself. And, and that actually helped me out too, because he won't divine raid me. And uh, I don't really want him divine raid me. Uh, you know, the phoenix or, you know, a whole lot of other creatures. Now, she's not in the best of positions for doing Meteor Doom. I'm just going to kind of move her up and, um, you know, possibly work on some Genofrost because, well, there's a lot of green dragons here. So, just going to work on the Genofrost here. Uh, the Meteor Doom will definitely work well with the Bishop, but not... I mean, it'll work, you know, with dragons too, but uh, I think that the uh, Gino Cross will be a little better. And plus, I don't really want to hit my own characters too. Sometimes you can go with that, uh, but for this one, I might not do it. It's it's a really viable option, um, but, uh, you know, fighting against, what, five dragons? Five Norgar dragons? He's got, um, you know, he's, he's got a good... Uh, a good defense. If he played it well, you know, it pretty much would match up to what I have. So here, yeah, here's my, uh, 14 or 15 griffin. That's, uh, you know, yeah, a little 14 griffin. Can't level him up. You know, these knights that I have, they just didn't really cut it for, uh, you know, getting him up, uh, high enough to get the other ones up there. Um, I know some people might be thinking, oh, why did you level up the walker? Why did you level up the, um, the vampire? Why didn't you level up the holy griffin? Well, I had him for a while. He wasn't doing too much sitting in the background. I couldn't level up the griffin. I just could not level up the griffin. And I thought, you know what? I'll just go with the war. I'll just go with the vampire. And uh, it'll be just a little buffer. And I'll try this out. 
because usually I would go with the, uh, the Holy Griffin, you know, over the Golem, or I mean, uh, the Ghoul, and uh, might be a good tactic. But uh, yeah, here I'm going to show you this too. Now, I did want this position to do some of this, uh, you know, that scream attack from the Wyvern, and I do hit my own character. And uh, that's something that you're going to see when you play the game. You know, if you play the game, you're going to see that that's kind of something that can really wear you down. You really don't want to hit your own monsters. That's just something that uh, you have to really think about it before you go ahead and do it. Probably the best, best chance was to probably just do it first before you move a character into position. But, you know, you see, if you move them into position, and then you do that scream attack, you're going to hit your own character when you didn't need to at all. So, that's something to think about. And try not to do. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, even then, even if I did form up in a perfect formation, you know, it would still be a little difficult. Like, not as difficult, but I just kind of wanted to do a very aggressive uh, playstyle out here just to show you that, uh, you know, how can play aggressively and still, you know, do well, but nearly <laughs> lose some stuff here, and, uh, you know, get on the verge of just, you know, losing some of the best stuff, because if you don't try to set up a formation, you don't have some sort of plan, you're just racing out there and you're attacking, you're going to get your monsters low enough to get killed, and uh, that generally comes from not thinking much about it. Now there, that was kind of nice. It didn't bother to attack my Griffin, but I guess they thought, well, it's gonna, it has a very high attack, and they don't want the dragon to get um, hit by it because I'm thinking, I'm guessing the computer knows the computer's automatically gonna miss it. So he's putting the dragon there, but not attacking because the computer knows beforehand that they're going to miss. And this is hard, so. You know, this setting is set on heart, so that's what they're probably thinking. Yeah, here with this, uh, this ghoul, I don't really need to kill it off. I mean, um, you know, with that high of a phoenix, I don't really need to get it a kill. Phoenixes are usually always, you know, kind of in the brunt of the, uh, the battle anyway, so they don't really need to get kills. All they need is to just fight and attack, because they're going to get attacked a lot. And uh, even, you know, once you probably get them up to like level 20, they'll still get attacked a lot. I'll see here, he's pulling up the heal, and that saves me from getting Divine Raid. Whereas, you know, if I had something more, I mean, Ira could have basically went up and attacked him with the Black Spirit. Now, she has a high advantage on her. And he's not going to do that much to her. But yeah, they really want to try knocking down the uh, the Holy Griffin. Now, now that I healed up the Wyvern, they turned their sights into the Holy Griffin. And uh, they're going to try to get him just a little bit lower. And see if they can kill him off right here. Now, at this point, it'd be interesting to know you know, what some of you players actually think about the bat like this. Do you think that if you were in a position of, um, of Norgard with the five dragons that you could hold off against a team like this? I think a lot of you would probably say no. And, um, I think you're kind of on the right path because as far as attacking Ira goes and uh, Lucia, they'd have a hell of a time. Uh, Gwingolin would get pretty close, but you know, with the, with the fact that um, Victoria is a witch, she could just curse him and just knock him out right now. You know, that's basically what I could do. I could just throw a curse on him, throw a spear at him. He's out of the game. He's out of this battle completely. 
and Lucia can shoot him too. I have so many options to kill off Coangulin right now, it's not funny. But what I'm trying to do is just kill off a few of the dragons first because, well, that's kind of, um, you know, more important right at the moment. And especially when you're just trying to, uh, you know, kill off a country altogether, almost all the time, um, literally almost all the time, you're really just trying to think about killing off the monsters because once you get down to that final castle, you're just, you know, you're just going to be swamped with attacking you know, all their best stuff. They're going to pull up all their high-level monsters, all their high-level leaders, every, uh, you know, everything they can muster to fight against you. They might even attack you before you can attack them. In some ways, it's kind of good because then you can knock out a few monsters before you attack them. But it doesn't always happen that way. And in that final fight, you're going to have to fight a lot of high-level guys. So best thing you can do is just work on the monsters and um, you know it can weaken your monsters in the meantime but as long as you have like a healer here like the unicorn um, you have an angel there you know just waiting in the wings to heal up now and stuff like that that will definitely work for, for you um, now reborn is just not close enough to being a healer at the moment and even though that I'm in the front line I really want to kill these dragons. I really want to get Roadbow low enough to possibly get a kill on him, maybe. Um, because at this moment, it's not looking too good for my Griffin, who probably should be a Holy Griffin at the moment. And uh, I don't really want to heal him up. Here's a big thing here that probably people could have seen that you know I've seen now, and uh, this is one of those mistakes that you might make. Um, but then again, it's one of those things you might think, you know, I'd rather do it this way. Uh, Meteor Doom or Geno Frost? What's the more important spell to do at this moment? Now, Meteor Doom would have covered more territory, and I pulled him away and just use it right away. But I was thinking, I don't know, you know? These are green dragons, I want to knock these uh, dragons out. Um, you know, get them out of the way. But if I kill the leader too, they may leave a dragon or two. So if I just kill it off, you know, I guess it could possibly go either way. Because I'm definitely going to kill off the bishop up here. And then I'm going to have to be, you know, I'm going to be left with these other ones. But, um, you know, looking at it now, you can see that this was probably one of the mistakes that you can make is going with the Juno Frost, even though the dragons are, you know, they're, they're red and this is blue, this is definitely a good attack on them. It is a very good attack, but with what I had here, probably could have went with the Meteor Doom. I would have hit probably two more guys, two more dragons, um, possibly done maybe a little more damage. Um, it's hard to say. I, I know Meteor Doom does a lot of damage. But, uh, you know, with the red on blue, yeah, it's um, kind of a tough call there. But, um, yeah, so I knocked him out. I did the video a little bit because um, taking a break got a little long. But that's what I went with, and that's one of the mistakes that um, you might make. But then again, it might be a choice that you think it's not a mistake. Because either way, you know, it does work out still. So here now, with doing that, even though I didn't get a lot of damage on a lot of guys, uh, I didn't uh, get Victoria as much damage as possible, I'm able to get my monsters a little bit more experience just by attacking a few more uh, creatures that, um, you know, by attacking a few more creatures, I'm able to get a lot more experience, so that will help them out. But uh, yeah, this battle is um, a very aggressive battle. It's not, you know, very very well thought out. It's just going out there and um, you know doing all the best attacks possible. Um, but the thing with the Holy Griffin, I could have kept him in there, but he probably would have died. And with any sort of acid breath, it could have um, shot through any character. Uh, they do have an archer close by. Uh, I don't feel like having them uh, kill him off right this instant. Uh, he 
he's helped me out in a lot of battles, and I'm going to see if I can level up at some point. Um, actually, yeah, I don't mind if they kill off my um, my zombie, or my vampire, as it is, because, you know, he's kind of a buffer, and I'm just kind of keeping him as long as I can. I already have a Lord Vampire, and so if he goes, it's fine. But um, I think maybe once he goes, or once I level up my uh, leaders high enough, then uh, you know, I'll get that Holy Griffin. So, yeah, I knocked out one leader, and this probably should be, you know, almost it for the battle. Uh, there's really not much more that I really need to do. Um, I could have killed off Goingu in here, but they still have two more castles left. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to, um, you know, get a little bit of experience, but um, have a few more monsters level up. I needed to move him out of the way so I could level up the, uh, the Mandrake back there. And uh, that's what I wanted to do with him. Because, yeah, too. Plus, with the uh, the man eater attacking, he's only 52 agility. If he misses, well, then he misses. But um, seeing as how this dragon's out of the blue, leaderless, it's an easy kill. And I can level up this uh, this mandrake a little bit more because the mandrake they do need to level up as much as they can. They need that uh, they need that defense and offense. And I'm kind of looking forward to fighting against Gorgu and. Uh, here pretty soon, the next few battles I'll be doing. So I know he'll probably, you know, attack me a little bit. Uh, I was kind of watching this this time, and I was like, hmm, maybe they will kill off the, uh, the vampire. Maybe I will get to level up the, uh, the griffin into a holy griffin. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Is it, it's getting lower now. So, uh, yeah, that pretty much uh, finishes it for this battle. Gwingulin's probably going to be treated shortly. And uh, then I'm pretty much going to be down to attacking... Alamari... Al or Alarine, actually, and Listanos, both to the west and southwest. So, yeah, that's where I'm going next. And Byron will be there. So he'll be awake for that battle and um, yeah so I hope you enjoyed watching this um, this is double 77 trigger here and I will talk to you guys later thanks for watching bye